2K Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, is proud to bring you the second stop of the FedEx Cup playoffs. Today's coverage of the BMW Championship is about to begin. I'm Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beam in the booth, and it's a hello to Henny Koyak down on the course following our featured group today. Hey guys, yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing these two go at it again. It was a great rivalry first time round, and now, more so than ever, they're going to want to beat each other. Certainly excited to seeing this one. Strap yourselves in. Well, that's a handy shot. Playing from 110 yards out. This player is making a statement with that approach shot. I think this rivalry with Ricky Fowler is really inspiring him to fire at those flags. Well, Rich, that's got to feel good. Opening the first with an underpass score. I've never been disappointed by starting off my round with a birdie, Luke, I can tell you that. Opting for the five iron. Anywhere up on that dance floor would be nice. That's an absolute ripper. What a shot. Birdie at the last. This for another. That will work. On a roll here with back-to-back -back birdies. Back-to-back -back birdies never hurt, Rich. Kind of like it. He's feeling it. Well, that's certainly a step in the right direction. Keep it going. Now oh, we head to the first of the par fives in operation. The third hole, Rich. Big hitters will be able to take advantage and drive it over those bunkers down the right-hand side, leaving a very straightforward and basic second shot back up the hill. Rich, love the fact that we've made our way through to the second week of the playoffs, and I'm pretty sure every player who's here is a little extra happy that they're at the BMW Championship. Yes, Luke, 125 down to 70. So 55 players from last week did not make it on to this week's BMW Championship. A bummer for some, but a huge opportunity for the guys that are here. Just 70, no cut whatsoever. If there's ever a player that wants to turn it loose, trying to get inside the top 30 in the next week, this is the time. If you are outside that top 30, there is absolutely no reason why you shouldn't go flag hunting. You should try and fire at everything you can because you know that you have to play well this week if you want to make it into the top 30 next week in the Tour Championship. This is a great opportunity for those outside the top 30 and a little bit nerve-wracking from those sitting from about 20 to 30 on that current list. Nicely done. Nothing like a bit of momentum here, Rich. This one's going for another birdie. Always a good way to start. Let's see where they go from here. This one looks to be on a pretty good line. Oh, almost went in. A sensational shot and a chance for a birdie here on the fourth. Just a four-footer remaining. A little birdie look in here. Well, that's an early statement right there. That is definitely a confidence builder. Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. Rich, we head to the fifth on the property and we really need to position our tee shots here, don't we? We do. This is a very interesting, cool hole, Luke. This is kind of like a fairway and then second shot green and not much else out there that you really want any part of. Miss the fairway bunker down the left-hand side. Don't hit it in there because you're going to make at least five, if not worse. No harm, no foul there with that shot. And what are we looking at here, Henny? Setting up this shot with the wind in their face. They're going with a bit more club here. Let's see if it was the right call. Well, you're a ball striker. There's no doubt about that. Another green in regulation. This is an absolute clinic. Ouch, that hurts. 
And that should secure the par on this one. And as they leave that hole, Rich, you'd imagine a little bit frustrated after such a great shot in. Rich, the sixth hole's a par for measuring under 400 yards, but there's still plenty of focus needed here. It's just a straightaway hole loop. A lot of players can go ahead and take a long iron and just wedge it on from there. I still think, though, the big hitters are going to give it a run and just take out the driver and whip it on up there. Always a challenging approach to an elevated green. Oh! That one had eyes for the flag the whole way. Oh, this will be good for the momentum. Let's make this birdie putt. Good looking putt. He just keeps putting a gap on the rest of the field. What a putt to hold. And that will take him to five under. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. Let's see what happens here on the seventh. Going with the five iron here. Nice shot that. That should find the surface. Yeah. Left yourself an opportunity. And he's down there. You got a read? Just got to trickle this one in the front door. It's downhill. Ooh. Par putt coming up here. Now leading by one shot. Just a couple to play here on the opening nine. Here's the tee shot at the eighth. What a gargantuan tee shot. Taking aim from around 190 yards here. Has the wind coming right into his face. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. <laughs> Nicely done. Steps up to a punt of about 15 feet in distance. Ooh, right by the hole. An opportunity to make their par. In she goes. Let's head to the next. He's currently in a share of top spot. The finishing hole on the outward half, the ninth. Another good par four. It is, Luke. The fairway pinches in quite narrowly up there with the bunkers come into play. Second shot, maybe slightly back uphill to a green that is absolutely colossal. Currently minus five. Currently tied for first place. And choosing the eight iron here. Well, that's well played. And a chance for birdie here at the ninth. Oh, I love these momentum putts. Right on ten feet. Let's go hold it. Just didn't drop. Putting for a par now. Oh, Rich, is there anything more disappointing setting up what you think is a makeable birdie putt, but unfortunately not able to convert? Always the toughest hole in the game. A long par four. like that didn't you what kind of shot are they facing here Henny and from around 135 yards chosen the pitching wedge here oh this is on a fantastic line is it the right distance well that's beautifully judged and this part to move into a tie for first checking in on the leaderboard this player is currently tied for first with Lydia Coe
Here we find ourselves on the tee of a par four. Oh, will this one hang on and find the fairway? Or is it headed towards the rough? Sitting at six under in a share of the lead. Should find the green. Oh, absolutely flushed. Looks like a pretty straightforward five footer to me. This for back to back birdies. Oh, what a round this is. Seven birdies today. And with that, he'll move to seven under. Incredible. Some strong holes on the inward half of this uh, golf course, Rich, but there's no one longer than the 12th for par five. There is not. It is absolute bombs away off the tee shot for these players. If they can get it up and over a small rise. The ball will chase down and give them a thought. A thought. Will they try and reach this 630-yard par five? With the water in front? No thanks. I'm laying up. And I never say that. quite the shot he was wanting and here we are with the third shot currently in the lead by a shot wow did this come out beautifully how about that rich how about that Luke absolutely in there close good look at birdie coming up and after that fine display they are holding first spot on the leaderboard with Lydia Ko trailing in second place. Oh, that's a great shot. and sets up a birdie look here at the 13th. Trying to get to nine under for the event with this opportunity. That's frustrating. This putt is about eight feet. Well, that'll maintain the momentum. Nice par putt. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard. Love the long holes. Welcome to the par five. Nicely done. Second shot here on the 14th. <laughs> Quality shot, that one. Getting ready to play their third. Currently leading by a three. Right up the birdie putt here. Down she goes. Let's head to the next. The 15th for the tournament is the 17th on the golf course, Rich. A long par three. It is just over 220 yards, so a heart-shaped green. But I can promise you, Luke, there is nothing lovely about this hole. It is strong. There's water left that you want no part of. You bail out to the right. You're in the bunkers. I'm going to take three and move on to the next.
in. That's right out of the copybooks. Exquisite. This part of about seven feet to the hole. Looking for another birdie here. Couple of birdies on the bounce. You can see the momentum certainly with this player as we head down the final few holes. Seemingly an insurmountable lead with just four to play. Gotta like his position. Currently in first position. Two holes to go, Luke. Can they hang on? Let's find out. This one looks to be heading for the sanctuary of the fairway. And he's down there. He's got roughly 105 yards here. Oh, I guess they're seeing something I'm not. They're going with less club here. Interesting. Well, that was fantastic. What a shot from the leader. Well, the practice is paying off here, Luke. This player is relentless. A couple of strong finishing holes to finish up here, Rich. First, let's take a look at the 17th. Yes, yeah, just about 420 yards, and you want to favor down the left-hand side as this fairway does move left to right. You avoid those fairway bunkers. The second shot, you have to be precise with your distance control because this green has got a lot of movement on it, a lot of little bowls to it. little beauty nice touch yes sir gets it to go thank you Luke love it let's take another look perfect distance perfectly judged and look at that straight in the hole Currently 13 under for the event. And the finishing hole at the uh, south course of Wilmington's famous country club. Uh, Rich, a really good par four. Just over 440 yards. The bunker down the right-hand side off the tee is only reachable for the big hitters. Second shot slightly back up the hill to a two-tiered green. Distance control is imperative. Playing this one about 130 yards out. Slightly elevated green. They're going to need to take a little extra club to get it all the way back there. Going with the pitching wedge here. Well, this one's right at the pin. A wonderful shot into the 18th and a chance for birdie. Full of confidence as well with their putter. Gotta like. And that is a mighty performance, winning the second FedEx Cup playoff event, driving away with the BMW Championship. It's going to put them in pole position heading into the Tour Championship finale, where they can go on to win the Tour Championship and the FedEx Cup title. What a performance this week. Now, Rich, we saw from the get go that this player was right on song this week, just a class above. This player absolutely dominated all week long, all tournament long. Great job. You don't see this happen very often. Well, that just about concludes our coverage. On behalf of Rich Beam, I'm Luke Elvey. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you tomorrow.